Hey, what's up guys? It's Drummer828 and uh, today I'm gonna do something a little different. I want to talk about this video I just found online and uh, it's from that artist, mm, air quotes. It's from that chick that came up with that pop song from a while ago. You know, the one that's like, uh, I love it. I don't care. I love it. And you know, who would have thought that the girl that sang, I love it, I don't care, happened to be a gigantic brat in real life. No, I'm serious. Just, uh, I found this video of her performing in Germany. So the artist's name is uh, Charlie XCX. Charlie with an I. Because she loves it, okay? She just doesn't care. So here in this clip of Charlie XCX performing a show in Germany, we get to see a perfect example of how your negative energy can completely destroy your show and make you look like an idiot. I don't know if idiot's the right word. I think the more proper word is just brat. This girl is a brat. So anyway, let's take a look at uh, a little bit of her show here. My name is Charlie XCX, and this next song is the song that I feature on and a song that I wrote for a band called Icona Pop. It's called I Love It. I love it. Does anyone fucking know this fucking song? <laughs> Saying, saying fuck a whole bunch of times, just, I'm sorry, that doesn't, never gets me amped. Does anyone fucking know this fucking song? You sound like an eighth grader that just got the courage to say the fuck word. And holy crap, did you see those shoes? It really brings me back to my childhood. The first thing that I think of is when I was little, I remember going to Universal Studios and they had this like song and dance thing where it was all the monsters from the Hollywood movies. It was like Beetlejuice, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, and Frankenstein. And Frankenstein wore these shoes that are the exact same shoes that she is wearing in this. You can tell at this point she is visibly angry that the crowd is not losing it. I fucking extend does anyone know this fucking song? Yo, chill out, Jack. Like, what, what's your deal? I love it. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? Come on, man. Wow. Wow. And to be fair, I mean, it seems like the audience is responding to her. Like, I guess they she guilted them into jumping around and acting crazy, but like. I, they're doing more than I'd ever do for this chick. If, if, if artists ever popped out and started, Go, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I thought you knew this. Does anyone even know this song? I don't care. That, that might be my favorite part of the song. What the hell is that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Did she just take a dump? <laughs> She's jumping around with her hands up. I thought this was big in Germany. Still complaining, still yelling at the audience. This is a, the 101 what not to do as an artist on stage. Not only am I surprised at her just attitude towards her own audience and this, this display, but I'm also surprised she's getting some pretty big ups in this jump here. Like, you, do you see how high she's jumping? Holy crap, it all makes sense suddenly. Those aren't Frankenstein shoes. Those are moon shoes. Moon shoes. More fun from the creators of Squiggle Wiggle Rider and Squiggle Ball. Moon shoes. What the fuck are you doing? Come on! Ah! What the fuck are you doing? Come on! Ah! <laughs> You've got to be joking. What an awful, awful brat. The ironic thing about this is that, in fact, you can tell by her actions in this video that she does care way too much and she is not loving it at all. I don't care. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> A return of the... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part of that song? My favorite part is the song where she has a brain aneurysm. <laughs> You know who I really feel bad for in all of this is the actual musicians that are that have taken time to to learn this music and and they're putting their talents at work and they're on display and this spoiled little brat gets to hop in front of them and jump around and sing the same three notes over and over again. I mean, 
yeah, great job. You wrote this song, but it, it, the, the tune of the song is. I mean, you're not exactly Whitney Houston. Crack is cheap. I don't know what you expect from this crowd and why you're so shocked that people are kind of like, Neh, when you come out. Your personality is straight up trash. As someone who has performed on stage, I'm a drummer, okay? I don't, I haven't played in a band in a while, but I've got lots of experience with performing on stage in front of people. But in the past, man, I've done bad shows before. And you know whose fault it is when the crowd isn't responding to your show? It's you as the artist. If the crowd's not feeling your music, that's that's not the crowd's fault. And one of the main things that you learn uh, being on stage and performing in front of people in a live audience is that if your energy is off as an artist, then your audience's energy is gonna be off as well. As the artist, it's your job to hype people up and to get people into it. It's not the audience's job to entertain you. And that's something that I see quite a bit where artists get this whole idea flipped around. Just because they're on stage, they feel like, oh, it's the crowd's job to, to get the party going, and, and they're here for me. They should be worshiping me. I'm the one on the stage. And no, I'm sorry, that's not how it works. If you're up on the stage, you're the performer, and you're performing for them. You're working for them. It's not the audience's job to make you feel good. Charlie, Charlie with an I, XCX, quit. Just quit. Just go away. Just leave. Get off the stage! Alright y'all, that's all the time I got for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'm gonna go listen to Pink Floyd for three hours and try to just forget that this chick ever existed. Uh, and uh, I will see y'all on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace. Hey, this is Drummer828. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps the video survive on YouTube. Also, subscribe to keep up with the channel, and turn on the notification bell to instantly find out about new videos. I make music, moto vlogs, comedy, live streams, and anything else I feel like doing. Now before I go, I want to take a minute to welcome the new subscribers to the channel. I'd like to give a special shout out to the YouTuber Reemsy, who supports this channel every month through Patreon. Thank you, Reemsy. It really means a lot, man.